Welcome back, yeah. guys, to another episode of Undead Jim, Nightmare. You okay? What's going on? Oh, hey there, John. Fancy a game of cards? Not right this minute. <laughs> you remember Moses, John? He's he's he's, he's a, a darn sight more loyal now than he was before. <laughs> uh, come here, boy. Come on. Come here, boy. <laughs> What are you doing? We were boyhood friends, John. Moses is having a tough time right now. Ain't you, pal? What's going on? We're playing cards. Relax, sit down. I mean, with the undead walking the face of the earth, you crazy dumb bastard. That ain't nothing. Ain't nothing? I've seen husbands eating wives. Mothers eating sons. Graves popping open and the undead rising up. It sure as shit is something. Oh, boo-hoo. Big tough John Marson is scared of a little undead creature walking around. Moses wouldn't hurt a fly, would you, darling? Besides, this ain't nothing new. Folks in Blackwater blaming it on that glass eye you found. Uh. Folks! 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 Damn them folks, John Marston! Damn them! And damn you! Get him! Get him, Moses! Get him! After all I've done for you, Seth, and I thought loyalty was important to you. You can't hurt me. Moses, get him. Go! Yeah. Get him! Get me, Moses. Looks like your dog's lost his bite, Seth. Now, what the hell's going on? The dead are risen, and a virulent plague is turning people into flesh-eating crazies. What the hell you think's going on, genius? But why? But why? 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 Why not? Why not? <laughs> why the hell not? Because it ain't natural. Who made you Mother Nature and Mother Superior all at the same time? <laughs> Who made you, John Marston? Same as made me, same as made Moses. Is there a cure? These things tend to fade away. Now, if you want to get rid of it, you should go clear the graveyards. Either that, or stop worrying and become one of them. Now, if you excuse us, we got good times to remember. Happy times. Okay. See you soon then, Seth. Come on, Moses. It's your deal. Diamonds are trumps. Come on. Just playing cards with a zombie, no big deal. All right, so let's go clear out three new Austin graveyards. We've got a new mission here. Let's go ahead and pull up our map and see where we're at. We've got, uh, that town's under attack. New Austin's over here, right? Wow. Okay, so get back in that hole, partner. Get back in that hole, partner, and get back in that hole, partner. All right, well, let's do it, guys. We're gonna go ahead and set our objective. And we are gonna be on the way. This time, I'm actually gonna edit this section. When we're traveling through town, you actually, you can't fast travel in Undead Nightmare unless it's from one, like, safe house to another. You know what I mean? Like, the town has to be safe. It can't be under attack. So, we're going to make our way over there through the wilderness, and I'll see y'all when we get there. A mythical creature. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Here we go, guys. Oh, my gosh. All right, this is one of the undead horses here in Undead Nightmare. Got him. Let's go. Look at this, boys. Woo, here we go. All right, we got to ride the bucking bronco here. What in the world? This is so crazy. He's on fire. Crazy yourself centered. We can do that. Wow, we found this guy pretty early. 
I remember the first time I played through Undead Nightmare. It took me a while to be able to find an undead horse like this. Sure is messed up. One of the mythical horses. What am I doing here? Almost got you. Whole world gone crazy. Glad I get myself into this. We got him, baby. Oh my goodness. All right, four horses of the apocalypse, rank number one. You guys better believe we are going to be on the search, on the hunt. For the three other ones. This is pretty exciting. Our horse is on fire right here. That's so nuts. Um, one thing I do want to share with you guys. So, ooh, war can set enemies on fire. No way. So if we just run into him. Let's see what happens. Oh, we missed him. Oh, here's, here's some zombies. Nope, that didn't work. That did, though. Wow. So you have to get pretty close to him. But if you touch him... They all set on fire, no way. Except for the wolves, the wolves don't set on fire. Anyway, uh, I do want to share some, oh, look at this undead boar. Dude, this stuff is creepy. Anyway, I want to share something with you guys. This is from back like four years ago when we first played through this game. And um, we first found one of these horses. Yes! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> that was such a good time. Anyway, here we go, guys. I'm gonna take care of this town. We're gonna hit all these zombies with our fire horse. Cause why not? Let's knock all these guys over. Whoa! She just ripped me off. All right. Woo! We're good. Saving the McFarland Ranch right here, boys. Woohoo! Oh my goodness. Alright, let's get the torch out here, boys. I want to save some ammo. We're gonna have to loot some enemies, too. Him. Her. Him. We're looking pretty good here, boys. Making quick work of these zombies. Nice. He's down. Alright, what else do we have here? Look at all the, the bodies that we need to loot, bro. This is gonna be crazy. We're gonna get so much ammo. Okay, where are some of the other zombies that we're missing? There's one over here. He's down. We're at three out of five stars. Lots of them over here. This should clear us up. Here, boys. You try to chase me down right now, bro. Get out of here. Sit down. Sit down, playboy. Sit down, playboy. There we go. All right. Kill the remaining undead to save the town. This is good. My bae, Bonnie. Technically, my wife is uh, is dead right now, right? She's undead, but does it count as cheating if your wife's a zombie? Important questions of Undead Nightmare. Alright. These three are burning. Last one's gonna fall right here. There it is. The McFarland Ranch has been saved. Undead may still be present. You can explore the last time you're being attacked. So let's sleep in a bed safely. Nice. Alright. Well, we have a ton of zombies to loot here. So I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna loot everything we can possibly get our hands on. And then we're gonna head on to the graveyards oh, come on. that were our original objective. Well guys, I've got some bad news. So as you all can see, our horse is no longer on fire. We've actually already lost that mythical horse that we just unlocked. And uh-oh, 
this lady needs some help, so let's go help her out. But, um, yeah, basically, what happened is... Oh, wow, she just... They took her out. I feel bad. We probably should have should have been more on top of that. Basically, I don't know. Like, the, the only way you can lose a horse is if they die, which definitely didn't happen, or if you... Um, break in another horse without hitching them or something like that which we didn't do either so i'm not sure what happened i think it was a glitch i looked it up but it's all right we're gonna be able to get that horse back eventually okay so there are four horses of the apocalypse in this game we just had war right there there's also pestilence famine and then death and uh, you get war pestilence and famine first once you've unlocked all of those each one of them has this special ability of some sorts so, like famine is super super fast um pestilence is super super strong and then war obviously turns people on fire once you've gotten all of those you get death you have to capture death but once you get death death on contact will explode zombie heads. So instead of setting them on fire and waiting a while for them to, to die, they explode on contact, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna work on getting those for sure. But for now, we've got to clear this gla graveyard, baby. Here we go. This graveyard? Huh. Okay. So we're gonna burn the remaining coffins. Let's do it, boys. But yeah, each one of those four horses of the apocalypse, they all have, um, Unlimited stamina. So they're really like I'm I'm kind of upset we lost him, but like I said, I looked it up and it's a uh it's a pretty common glitch. So just gonna have to deal with the punches. But once you unlock all of them, you get the deeds to them. So you can call them at any time you want. They're called blood packs, I think. So we have to find all of them. They appear randomly just like the legendary Pokemon and you know Pokemon games, and uh, we're just we're gonna have to, to take our punches and Deal with the cards we're dealt, baby. Let's clear out this graveyard here, boys. Gotta kill all the zombies. I wonder if we're gonna get another big boss zombie again. I'm coming out of the ground. God, that is so creepy, dude. Just right out of the grave. Trying to save ammo here. We're not doing too bad on ammo. When you clear out towns, you get access to new ammo. That's pretty good. What's up, fella? Whoa! John, turn around. There we go. They're both taken care of. We're almost dead. Our horse is just freaking out, dude. It's like, what the heck have you gotten me into, man? Got the big boy over here. Oh, he just... <laughs> He's got a knife in his back, dude. This thing is not working very well, I'm not gonna lie. Two for one, baby. Whoa! I think we took that big guy out, so that's good. Oh, shoot! Got that bolter. Dude, how many of these things are gonna- Oh! Oh, I'm a Horlick. Dude, she's creepy. Shoot, we're on fire now. All, baby yes sir <laughs> let's go all right so this cemetery has been cleansed looks good to me we're gonna head on it to the second one on the list oh my goodness dude look at this this is what we fell into last time we found war oh my gosh that was only this episode that's crazy funny how that works out anyway 
We are going through this little ravine here, dude. This is sketch. Our horse is out of stamina. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? I think we're gonna die here. No, we're good. We're gonna be okay. Come on, horse. Where are you at? We gotta outrun these things. Ah! Horse, come on! Oh my god, this is freaking creepy, dude. Come on, horse. He's right behind us. Yes! Get the heck out of here! Oh my god, those little creepy crawly sons of guns, dude. What in the world? Horse ran in a stamina. Dude, that honestly couldn't have been any worse right there. Okay. Let's burn the coffin and get this party started, baby. A little bonfire out in the middle of the graveyard. No big deal, so we're gonna burn all these things and we're gonna kill everybody. It's gonna be a grandiose old time, fellas. What the heck? That's a weird little cutscene. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. The sheer numbers of the undead that are in these graveyards while you're burning the stuff is kind of like... It makes it a little difficult. Like, it's... It's not a walk in the park. Especially since we're not using our uh, our weapons. Which we probably could. We have a lot of repeater ammo. We have like 70 repeater rounds or something like that, but... It's kind of fun to have it, uh... Have it be challenging. Two for one, baby. I like those two pieces. This thing just needs a little bit more auto aim. Like, if you're aimed in slightly the wrong direction, it doesn't end up hitting the, the zombies. Jump around. Jump around. That's good. so far. Homie couldn't even get off his knees before he was getting burned. Sorry about that. Now get back. <laughs> Just knocked him in the noggin. I love it. Just smacking zombies with a torch. Woo! See, if we had war right now, we could totally just run around inside the graveyard knocking zombies over. It'd be awesome. If we had death, we'd just be exploding heads. That'd be crazy. Got him. Oh, gosh. Zombie bitches be crazy. Got him. Oh! Get off me! Go. Oh. Centipede mother. Peter Turner. Betrothed to Miss Anna. Oh wow! So this guy is uh, he's the husband of the last, the last boss we did. Whoa! What? I totally dodged that. Got him. Kill as many of you. All right. Good stuff, boys. Oddfellow's rest has been cleansed. Two graveyards down, one to go. On the way, we're here at the Ridgewood Farm. We're gonna try to help these guys out, see what we can do. What the fudge, dude? All right. I'm getting out of here. One, two, three, baby. Bing, bing, bing. Bing bang boom. Sit down. Woo! 
That's nasty, bro. I'm beginning to lose my patience. Alright. Gotta help our boys out here. It's a small, small little farm too. We only have two little dots to save. You got less brains than I Get back! I'm trying to get this lady. I can't even get that lady, man. What the heck? There it is. Got him too. Get out of there, we should be good. As soon as these couple zombies die, the town should be safe. We'll get some ammo. We'll gain new fast travel point. The remaining undead. Jeez, they're coming in by the hordes right now, boys. Get the one behind you, John. boys this is it see you later alligator the rest of this ammo. took like three shots and got way more than that back Good little trade there it is oh we just did we just pick up a Springfield rifle we just we picked up a, a gun off of that zombie are you kidding me that's pretty nice all right well let's go get our ammo it looks like we've got an ammo box in here. With nothing in it? Are you kidding me? That's that's the thank you I get. That's the thank you I get for saving your dang farm. You were hiding up in the barn by yourself, and that's the thank you I get. Give me something here. An apple. <laughs> All of that for an apple. All right, well, I think it's safe to say we won't be coming back here anytime soon. All right, let's get back on our hunt. All right, looks like this might be our last little church right here. You guys ready? The final stop of the episode. Let's do it, boys. Let's make this a good one. Hopefully it goes well. Hopefully we don't have to worry about too much with these things. The, the melee range on this torch is not very good. Makes it really challenging. Oh, there are five coffins that we gotta burn in this one. Getting ammo for each one, that's pretty nice. Right. Well, now it's time to clear out the graveyard. Two for one, baby. Yes. Just gotta keep on the move, man. When you stop and let him catch up to you, that's when it gets bad. Oh my gosh. We're taking damage, boys. All right, we really are. We're gonna keep on the move here. Pretty sure that was a triple, baby. Oh, baby, a triple! Run, John, run, John, run, John. Run, John. All right. This is getting a little bit too hot for my liking. That zombie looks kind of like Uncle, doesn't it? Dude, you get so much dead eye in Undead Nightmare, it's crazy. Alright, those are six down right there. Sit down, Big Bertha. 
I hate the I hate the little squirmy ones. The little like creepy ring girl ones that crawl at you on all fours. Fast. Another green one. Oh, here comes Jimmy Saint, killed by gunshot in 1911. That was kind of cheesy. Anyway, I um, I've seen some comments of people saying like, you know, why are you acting like you're surprised? Like you've already played this game, dude. That was four years ago, man. I don't remember all the ins and outs of the story, but I remember there's something to do with those green guys. You can, like, collect their stuff or something, I think. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what happens. No spoilers down in the comments, please. But, uh, all right. So, that completes this graveyard. I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna loot all these guys, get some of our ammo back, because we just, uh, shot quite a bit of it right there. Make sure we stayed alive. And, uh, then we're gonna head back to Seth at old Bacchus' place. And see what's up next. And we are back. And Seth's having a party. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Is that Nip right there? Well, Seth. Sorry to interrupt your party. Hey, John. I just Come be dirty. We're having a jig. <laughs> John, have you met Mary Lou? What about Francie? <laughs> did as you asked and cleared out the rest of the graveyards. Doesn't seem to have done much good. Good? 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 Is dead good? Are you good? <laughs> Stop with your nonsense, you annoying fool. What's going on? The world's turning, John Marston, and the moon with it. Woohoo! <sighs> Day follows night, and hate follows love. Oh. Okay, you asked for it, Seth. You either stop dancing and start talking, or prepare to join Moses and the rest of these freaks. Are you constipated, John? You look very angry. <laughs> you get constipated when you're angry. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> I'm warning you, Seth. Oh, I'm warning you, Seth. I'm warning you. Don't. Play with the undead, Seth! Don't chase treasure! Don't waste your time searching for treasure and discover only a glass eye! <laughs> glass eye! Well, warn all you want, cowboy! <laughs> well, that's a load off my mind. Why didn't I think about that before? Because you weren't dead, so. Hey, John. Well, how are you? Would you like a drink? We got blood mucus surprise. Come on! Seth, what is going on? Aztecs. Or, or Incas. Or, or it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it's all the same. Once every 200 years, this land is doomed. <laughs> That's why we love it. Mexico. Mexico, John. <laughs> ah, Mary Lou, may I have the honor? Oh. You're a sick man. Nothing like a good old zombie hooker, man. Get it, Seth. Do your thing. All right. Well, Seth is not any sort of a, uh, a help right now, and he actually just ate our only lead with that glass eye. So we're going to leave him, and we are going to head on over to our next objective, which is over here in Rio Bravo, over near Fort Mercer. So no clue what's going on there, but we're going to head that way. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to see you guys in our next episode. Peace out.